So, welcome back to another video. This is Glenn from Gumadi Coins and Banknotes, and in today's video, we're going to have a look at Israel's current coins. But first off, we have the reuse of images over multiple currencies. So, here we have the actual coins that were used between the 60s and 80s, and they include the Tenputa half, one and five lira and these coins were replaced in 1980 by these coins here so the shekel equals 100 agorot and as you can see the images are the same so this is a half lira as a menorah and here we have the same thing of a five agorot and here we have the actual one lira so if I turn it over you can see the actual pomegranates and here we have a lion on the half shekel and the five lira so this is a good way even though to change the size of telling the people that the denomination is equal to this one here by having the same image now not all countries do that Israel's done it for the next re-denomination as well so 1985 they actually, let's move over, re-denominated the actual currency. And this time it was one old shekel equals 1,000 new shekels. So the highest coin is 100 shekels. And here we have a coin of 10 agorot. So the smallest coin was the 1 agorot. And it is equal to 10 old lira. And on this we have a old galley, it looks like Chimeme, which has a battering, oh, sorry, battering ram at the front. And here is the steering oar, and these are the rowing oars. This is more stylized, looks like it has a pomegranate at the back. And there was, this is pretty much just a stylized, probably for a artwork or on another coin. It wouldn't have actually been a ship in that design. Then we have Israel. Israel in English, Arabic and Hebrew. You have the uh, menorah, which is the, it's like uh, the emblem of Israel, or it is the emblem of Israel. It's similar to the Australian coat of arms, but because it doesn't have a coat of arms, so a shield, it's not called a coat of arms, it's called an emblem. Italy also has an emblem in the form of a star. Uh, United States has an emblem, doesn't have a coat of arms. It has an eagle with a, a roof around it. Uh, whatever countries have coat of arms, the uh, UK is a coat of arms. Generally, the older countries have coat of arms, and the newer countries have emblems. That's because coat of arms is a hereditary thing. So, the one I got was issued in 1985 to 1991, and it was then withdrawn and demonetized. So you can't actually use them anymore. Then we have the 5 Agrot. And we have the 50 Shekelum of the old series. And this one has a coin on it. So this is a coin from the 4th uh, year of the Jewish War. And this is actually a 1 8th of a Shekel. It has a Lulav. With uh, branches coming out. In between two etrogs so they look like more storage jars and then we have an inscription fourth year up around the side and this coin is actually not replicated on the other side so the other side of the actual coin should have a, a chalice with a, a, a rim peeled rim on it going around with um an inscription to the redemption of zion and on the 10 shekels, we actually have that inscription. So to the redemption of Zion. So, oh, sorry, the inscription actually goes that way. And it's got it both in the modern script. Where's my pen? So we've got the modern script, the Hebrew, then here. And we've got the old script, which they used before. The actual Romans actually took over. So, and that is 
pretty similar to the, the image that was actually on the 5 Agarot. Now the 5 Agarot was first issued in 1985 up until 2007 and then was withdrawn from circulation. So these two coins no longer circulate. The lowest coin is actually 10 Agarot. And the value is about 2.5 shekels equals $1. So this is worth about 2 cents. This is worth about 0.4 of an Australian cent. This is worth at least 4 cents. So it pretty much probably doesn't have any purchasing power now. And the smallest coin in circulation is actually the 10 Agarot. So here I have the reverse design. And you can see this one has fine milling and this one has coarse milling. So different years have different types of milling depending on what mint they're actually minted. And on the obverse we have a coin of Mafias Antigonus who live from 30 or reign from 37 to 40 BCE. And it has a seven branch candelabrum. candelabrum. So this is actually taken as part of the emblem of Israel, so the central part. And this is a, a, a Pruta coin, so it actually looks nice. If you collect Israeli coins, especially the old ones from before the Roman time period, they're actually quite a nice series to actually collect. Only the Revolt series, the Jewish Revolts, I think 66 and 143 or something like that, have a silver issue, the issue that was actually under the Romans are generally just bronze. So that is the smallest current coin you actually will be using in Israel. Okay, so I have put these all in the one image and we have the other coins actually do circulate in Israel. And these ones are the half shekel the one shekel, which is actually quite a small coin, so if I can compare it to an Australian five cent, you can see it's actually quite small. And the Israeli coins are actually quite small, to, uh, except for the half shekel. So they're actually pretty small. These ones before, I believe, 94 were actually copper and nickel. Uh, this one's five shekel, is still copper and nickel. But... The one shekel was changed into nickel plated steel, and the two shekels was also nickel plated steel. So the half and the one were issued in 1985. The five was issued in 1990. The 10 shekel was issued in 1995. And the two shekel was the last coin that was actually issued in. 2007 I believe yeah, no 2008 sorry wrong date and this coin actually only only has for five years actually minted so we've got 2008 2009 10 11 and 17 so it doesn't seem to be a popular coin or maybe no the mintage figures are actually quite low so this one I have is uh, five seven Six nine, and if you want to look at the dates of Israeli coins, they're actually on the side. So you need to look it up. I can't actually read this. I need to actually go and look it up. So here's the actual date, and this is just the denomination here. I mean Israel, not not the denomination. The denomination is down here, and then we have Israel, Arabic, and English over here in, uh, in Hebrew. And on this coin, it actually has a lyra. So, uh, a type of string instrument. On the one shekel, we have a lily. And if you look closely, it actually has the word Yahud. And just remember, when you, I believe when you write Hebrew, you write it from right to left. It's the same as in Arabic. And it doesn't have any uh, vowels, just mainly just consonants. So that would be your HD, your hood, or, or yeah, her. That's just what I don't, don't kill me. 
I'm not an expert in Hebrew, so if anyone would like to uh, correct me on that, they're quite welcome to. Then we have two cornucopias with a looks like a pomegranate in the middle, uh, 42 shekel. And if we turn it over, we can see it actually has interrupted milling. And here's the denomination too. So it's actually quite nice. Quite happy with these coins. And this one's worth 82 cents. So nearly $1. So you need another half shekel to make up $1. And they all have the state emblem of Israel. Which they could probably actually put on this side as a larger part and have the re denomination down below or something like that. Or maybe have an emblem here and have the denomination on this side just to give the emblem more prominence on the actual coin. So the next coin we have is a five shekel. So it's a copper nickel. It actually has a capital of a column. So this was used throughout the uh, Middle East and Europe, the Romans used it, the Greeks used it extensively, the Minoans, probably also the Hittites, they probably would have developed an earlier version of that one. And that is a dedicognal, so 12 sided coin. And if we look at the actual sides, you can see they're a bit rounded, but it is 12 sided. But it's more prominent in the actual. In Stamping you can actually see the actual size that it's supposed to be and I presume an error of that would be one That's not stamped correctly So I like the Australian 50 cent coin we actually get it going out of its actual um, So it actually looks like the actual Corners actually come here, so that would be an error. I would presume it actually occurs and the highest coin we have in Israel is the 10 shekel. This is worth about 4 Australian dollars, so it's actually quite a high value coin. It's not really minted every year. And this one actually has uh, palm trees with leaves. And as I said before, it has for the redemption of Zion in modern Hebrew down below and old Hebrew script there up the top. And this one doesn't actually have many security features that you expect for a coin of this denomination. You'll think that these lines would actually have some holographic feature, but no, they don't. And if we turn around, it's milled. And here we have uh, no real security features as well. It's quite a nice coin. I don't mind them. I reckon that they should actually... Implement some security features like they do on the Taiwan 20 and 50 dollar coin or the Japanese 500 yen because it's actually a high value coin and As was seen with the 2 euro They're actually becoming a lot easier for counterfeiters to counterfeit so That is the current coins of Israel So if you go to Israel, these are the coins you actually be using so they have six coins 10 agarot, half, 1, 2, 5, and 10 shekel. And they're all quite small coins, so I need to make another comparison again. So here's a $1 coin of Australia. It, it's pretty similar to the half shekel, and that's the largest coin, but the Australian $1 is actually a lot heavier. And uh, the rest of the coins are actually quite small, and pretty much are just... A normal fiat currency. Anyway, let's say thank you very much and have an awesome coin and banknote collecting time. Thank you and goodbye.